All right, so hey everyone, and welcome to Windows 10, and welcome back to Windows 10. And uh, I recently installed the latest build of Windows 10 Technical Preview, which is build 10061. And so far, I like it. Um, I wish there were a few things that Microsoft changed in it, but we're not going to get to that. Um, but um, you know, I can, I guess, I can go over that a little bit. But you have to see it first. Um, and there are rumors going around that. Uh, because Microsoft said it wanted um, to ship out Windows 10, the final consumer release, uh, in around, you know, in the summer, um, I think um, it's, you know, it's getting pretty close to that. So, um, you know, hopefully they do, um, but I, they have a couple of things that they should probably fix. So, I guess I can show you around, like I said in the last video, some of the things that have been added, uh, some of the apps that come with Windows 10. Um, most of them, uh, if you're a Windows 8 user, are pretty much things that you're familiar with. Um, however, for Windows 7 users like me, you know, there's a big difference. Um, so yeah, so I already went over Spartan, but it comes with its own Skype. I'm not going to show you that because I have no account set up there, but uh, so yeah, I can't really show you that. In Mail, I can't really show you that one either. I can try right now. But um, I don't think I can. But uh, mail has become has uh, become a lot better. Um, it's more of an Outlook type thing, um, and I'm not going to enter that in. But it's a lot like Outlook now. Um, so yeah, that's nice. A uh, calendar has also improved. Uh, then the Windows 8 version. I still can't show you that because a lot of these need setting up. So. And I can't really show you some of these because, um, well, um, privacy and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to search for a place here. This is not going to be my, you know, my normal place. So um, let me think of some place. I don't know. Let's go New York City. Yeah, let's just do that. So as you can see, it, it gives you a nice forecast. Uh, Gives you a nice forecast. You know, Wednesday is going to be like this. Thursday, you know, t tells you the percentage of rainfall. Um, and it gives you a lot of nice information. I use this a lot when I'm checking for the weather, but since I have a phone, I don't really need to do that. But if I'm ever on my computer and I want to check that, um, I always go to the weather app. It's really nice. And what's really great is that it will, um, if you have it set up to know your location, um, since these are live tiles, it will actually show. Um, the actual stats right there so you don't actually have to click into it. Um, there are also, I don't know if this is, I haven't really used my Windows 8 computer that much so I don't know if this has been integrated into that, I don't believe it is, um, but now um, they've integrated um, a music app and a video app uh, so that's really nice. So I can like click on some of these if I want to, so I don't know, let's go ahead and do that and it opens up in video. So that's really nice, and it'll play shortly. It's kind of slow sometimes, but not really. Uh, one of the things you may notice that it compared to the previous build that I was running was that the top, the window bar itself is just a gray bar, and that's what I really want Windows uh, Microsoft to change is I really want them to go ahead and change that so it actually reflects the color of the taskbar. Um, so, but, you know, for some reason they got rid of that in this build. I don't know if they actually are ever going to add that back. But, um, so yeah, so that's the video app. And if I find something interesting on this, excuse me, I don't know if I have anything there, I probably don't. Um, if I go to, I don't know, maybe I can find it in my other account. Um, I can't, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is, I, I don't go on this account that often. This is my demo account, so I can show you guys stuff without revealing my information. Um, so another great app is the News app. If you're, I believe this is on Windows 8, but they've updated it a lot in Windows 10. So as you can see, you have a lot of cool, just headlines. If you find something interesting that you want to look at, um, 
Let me find a, see if I can find one that I actually want to look at. Um, I don't know, let's click on David Letterman. And as you can see, it's going to show up. Just nice, a nice article there. Um, and there are a bunch of other cool apps too. Uh, photos is a great app, um, but I don't have any photos on this uh, account. So I hopefully I can show you the music app. I don't know if I can because I might not have music to display collection. I don't think, yeah. Um, I don't think I can do that because, uh, again, this is not my actual account on this computer and I can't really show you some of the stuff. Uh, Sports is another app, um, but I believe this is also in Windows 8. So, um, but again, it's been revised and edited, so it looks better and more um, of a thing. So, you know, you can scroll through some of these uh, sports stories if you want. And I'm not really going to click on any of these. Um, so, yeah. So that's the sports. There's also uh, money here. And what's great about money is that it also t will tell you, like, some of the stock for the day, you know, like, information. And as you can see, some of my live tiles have already kicked in here. Uh, as you can see, it says USA Today Sports and stuff like that. And as you can see, immediately after I opened up money, it immediately started showing some information in the money tile. So, as you can see, the Dow Jones is down today, NASDAQ is also down today, S&P 500 is down, Jesus, everything's down. Um, so yeah, so I don't know, that's a glitch too that Windows, Microsoft should probably fix. The taskbar sometimes likes to hide on you. Um, let me see if our, there's anything else I really want to look at. I don't have an Xbox account, so I can't really show you that one either, you guys. Um, I don't really use the games app. Uh, OneNote is a great app, um, but I, you guys who are longtime Microsoft users probably don't really need to look at that one. Um, I don't know. There's one more I believe that I wanted to show you, which was the Windows Store beta, because um, they've changed some things in that. I can't download anything because I'm not logged in. That's on my other account. But as you can see, it looks a lot more different than the store um, at this point. Let me find that. Uh, store. So as you can see, there's a big difference between these two. Uh, if I pull this over here, and my computer's slow because I'm recording a little bit slow. Um, so as you can see, there's a big difference between the two. This one has just a more of a just a horizontal scrolling. This one is more of the it's a combination of the two. Um, as you can see, you have some of these, and you can scroll down the page too. So the store beta is a lot more different, um, but I like it a lot. It's really nice, and what's great about the new store beta is you can get Office on it. Uh, you can just get um, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint on there. I use this on this computer because when I uh, refresh the computer, I forgot uh, to do a backup, so I lost Microsoft Office 2010. So now I'm using these three. Unfortunately, I don't have Publisher anymore, which is what I use a lot. Um, but you know, I have um, three basic apps of Office, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I guess that's a brief overview of the apps in Windows 10, and uh, the new and a nice fresh look at the new build of Windows build, uh, Technical Preview 1061, um, which I'm say also saying is could be one of the final builds before Windows 10, uh, the consumer release, becomes shipped out. So I guess if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a rating, and I'll see you next time.